So for this pro bike we're checking out here actually at Nova Mesto, we're checking out Sam Gaze's hardtail race bike that he raced recently at Alpstadt. So one of the special features about this epic frame set is actually it's got a really neat bump guard built on there. Because of the way the head tube is designed on this bike, you don't want the fork crown itself to damage that down tube. It's such a lightweight frame that it could be damaged in example of a crash or something like that. Although the frame is especially light, it's also incredibly stiff. And out back, it's got a 430mm chainstay, which whilst it isn't the shortest on the market, is still very short for a 29-inch wheel. Up the front, looking at the cockpit here on Sam's bike, and he's got a 720mm wide bar. That's quite an aggressive width, but he's a big guy, as we know. And of course, he's got his 130mm stem with a 24 degree negative rise on there, and just a tiny little spacer there. Other than that, it's a pretty slammed front end. As per most of the XC Pro riders, he's running those foam grips, super light, but extremely comfortable, and really do dampen that vibration you get when you're out on the racetrack. Brake levers on a Magura Raceline MT8, so of course a carbon fibre construction, mega light with loads of stopping power, and of course shifting duties is from SRAM, that's the Eagle shifter on there. Other than that, it's a really clean looking cockpit. So front end of the bike here, you've got the SID World Cup fork, but it's a little bit different to the usual ones you see out there, and that it's got the brain system, specially designed for Specialized and in conjunction with RockShox. Of course, it's an inertia valve system, it opens and closes, depending on how you set it when it needs to. It's an active fork, but also locks out more like a hardtail with a rigid fork on it. Really high performance item. Sam's particular setup is running 100 millimeters of travel, but it can also be run at 90 mil, which of course would steepen that head angle even more. Wheel set is a specialized Roval Control Carbon SLs on there. Super light wheel set with a 25 mil internal rim width, and it's got that new ground control tire on the front. Bit more of an aggressive tire, compared to what we've seen Sam running on other courses, but of course, Alfstad did have some pretty adverse conditions to cope with. Tire sealant on the inside there is that brand new specialized sealant that we saw the riders using in prototype stage in Stellenbosch. Just like you see with all the other bikes with the Maguras on there, you've got the trademark neon yellow caliper there of the race line, equipped models, and a tiny little 160 mil rotor. Now out of the back is the same wheel setup as those Roval 25 mil internal carbon rims there. On this particular bike at the moment, he's got the Renegade tyre, which is their faster rolling tyre, but he's actually running the Fast Track tyre at Alpstad, of course, just for that bit more grip. The slightly newer improved version with the wider spaced knobs and the shoulder that sticks out that little bit more. Of course, they run that Gripton compound that was optimised to be used in all real race conditions, as you'd expect. Again, it's got that specialised sealant in the back there, and you've got a 160mm rotor with that telltale neon yellow Magura Raceline caliper. Shifting duties are taken care of by the SRAM Eagle 1050, massive block on the back there. And of course, it's in the, the gold and black edition, super lightweight, really, really high end. Up the front there, he's running the rotor two in cranks with an overlies chainring, so 36, got plenty of power as we've seen him on the racetrack. And of course, he's got the Look X Track pedals on there. And as we already know about the Rotor 2 in system, it's especially popular with the top elite XC racers because you can independently monitor the power transfer from both of your legs. So you can get a really smooth training basis for your power output. Finishing Sam's bike off, of course, is a carbon seat post. He doesn't run a dropper post and it's got his trademark laid back position on that carbon railed specialized saddle there. And the total weight of this race bike is about 8.96 kilograms or 19 pounds, 14 ounces. And if you want to hear that wheel, so that's pretty quick to me. So there you go, that is Sam Gaze's hardtail race bike. You might not see him racing it as much as his full suspension bike, but where it counts, it is ready because as we know with the XCC format, whatever bike you choose for that, you have to ride in the XCOs. So you're gonna see riders having to make the hardtail choice here and there. For more pro bike related videos, click down here if you wanna see Sam's full suspension bike. That's a specialized Epic that you raced and won on in South Africa. And if you wanna see all the XC tech from Nova Mesto, click right down there. As always, click on that round globe to subscribe. We've got new content for you every week here at GMBN Tech. And of course, if you like Sam's bike, give us a thumbs up.